in this tutorial video, I will show you how to use Quizmaster to build a, a quiz. Um, and let's say we want to add a math uh, quiz to our web or to our demo site that I have set up here. Now I'm already signed in as a professor, which will allow you to create and manage uh, quizzes on this demo site that I have set up here. So let's go to the dashboard. Now the first thing we want to do is uh, we actually want to first set up uh, the category of questions and right now there's already one here uh, called web and tech but let's say we want to have a math uh, a set of math questions so let's uh, add that and then we can add a quick little description and uh, we'll save that so now we've got the category we have no questions in it right now uh, so our next thing we want to do is go ahead and create the questions. And uh, these are all the questions we have right now, but these are associated with the, uh, the other category. So we need to add new ones. And uh, there are four different types of questions that you can add. Single answer, multiple answer, true or false, or free text, uh, or uh, otherwise known as a custom answer. So let's say we want to go with a single answer on this first one. And uh, you can add any kind of content you want. So let's just get, let's just have a real simple text. Say uh, 1 plus 3 equals question mark. Let's say we want this to be worth let's say 2 points. Do we want to randomize the answers? Yes, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, is there a cor correct answer to the question? Yes, there is. Um, add questions to the categories. Uh, we can select math. Uh, now, you can select more than one, in which case you would uh, use a shift and select. But uh, if you wanted to add them to more than one, you can actually do that. Uh, but we just want to add this only to the math one, so we'll do select that. We're gonna hit this button here, and that now this is where the this is the category that this question will be added to. And uh, we can also do, uh, add it to other qu to the quizzes as well. But we have not created the math uh, uh, quiz for that yet, so we will come back to that. So let's go ahead and add our answers in. Uh, the correct answer is obviously four. Uh, so we will select that as being the correct one. So we'll also have five, which is incorrect, and six. And uh, we'll save this. And now we have our question here. And of course, you, if you want to go back and modify it, you simply click this link, and you can you know you know edit it as you see fit. You can change the order. If you don't want to randomize the order, um, you can change. You can have it be in a specific order if you want by moving these arrows up and down. Now let's go ahead and create the actual quiz. To let's say um, math test. To time limit, uh, we'll go ahead and we c we could enable that if we wanted to. Now because this is in seconds, uh, let's say you wanted to have like three minutes, that would be 180 seconds. But uh, I guess for this, let's not enable that. Uh, but however, we could uh, limit it to a number of user attempts, which this applies to registered users. So uh, let's say we could limit it to three attempts. And then we can put a description here. We can put anything we want in here. Um, and then do we want to enable or able, disable uh, guest access, which means is this available to the public? If we have this disabled, that means only registered users will be able to actually access this quiz. If we enable it, that means any just anybody that comes to your site and uh, will be able to see it and take the quiz. And uh, they, yes, the answers will be recorded for uh, as a guest as well. Um, the ability to return to the previous question, that means you know, are they able to go back between 
back and forth between questions. Uh, you can enable or disable that if you want. Let's go ahead and have that be enabled on this. Um, now if someone passes the quiz, you can say uh, whatever you want in here. Too. And of course you can customize it as you see fit, you know, with all these styles uh, as well. You can add images. Um, now let's say you want to show uh, what the number of points that they scored at the end of the quiz. You can do that. Now there's uh, some help down here and it shows you, uh, let's say you scored uh, some number of points. So, uh, and that's all you have to do is just this, make sure you have the, the brackets there like that. And then there's these other ones that, you know, you can show the number of time, which shows up in seconds. Um, you know, the total, total points, which is the total number of points that they scored on the whole quiz. Um, to it. So you can also show the a failed message if they, uh, depending on the criteria. Um, to, and right now if there's no criteria, then that means this will actually not show the failed message at the end, um, or, or the, uh, or this message either. Uh, but let's say, uh, for the most part, you'll probably want to go ahead and have this be, uh, by percent. Uh, so the, uh, so let's say they have to score a 50%. Uh, in order to pass and then we can save that uh, so now we've got one uh, question on there uh, there have been uh, since it's brand new there are no uh, successful attempts on here yet but let's uh, go ahead and add the questions to the actual quiz let's say now uh, one way to do this is to uh, manually select the questions now of course this allows you to sort them so we want only math questions so this will you can select them all you know that way or the other way to do it would be to select the questions here this shows you the number right now we've only got one so you know that uh, so we can add more here later as you see fit um, you can randomize the questions uh, let's go ahead and enable that set number of questions uh, if this is disabled uh, which in this case we will th this will just automatically show everything uh, under that category or however many you selected here uh, but if you want to restrict it now let's say we have uh, 20 questions in the math category however we if we wished to only show 10 of those we would put 10 here uh, but in this, for this demo here, uh, let's go ahead and have that disabled just so that way it shows us one question. Uh, and now we've got to actually, make sure you actually add it. And now the question will show up here, so this is actually in the quiz. Um, or the, again, the other way would be to use this. So either one, doesn't really matter, it'll add the question to it. So the number of questions from this category, you can restrict that number if this was... Uh, because there's four here, let's say we wanted to only have three on this other test here, we could do that as well, but we're not going to do that in this case. So we'll save that, and now that quiz is saved. Now here's how to add it to the front end, or so that way it actually shows up. Uh, now how I have this demo set up is I have a quiz pages, and then I added a sub page for each quiz, so now i got to create a new sub page let's go ahead and call this um, math yeah let's add the page and now we can add the block uh, quiz master block and uh, there are right now there are two quizzes available uh, we're going to show the math test and that's that's all there is uh, to show it's real simple and uh, we will go ahead and publish this and now these additional fields uh, will apply or applied to anything so I'll go back and show that here in just a moment uh, what these are so uh, that what this does is it collects you know any additional information 
So to and to so let's take the quiz here. The correct answer is four. Congratulations, we passed because we scored fifty percent or higher. Uh, too, so we can, you know, again, you can print that off if you want. I'll, I'll show you again what that additional fields is. This, um, these apply to all quizzes that are, sh are that will show up on your on your site if you want to collect them. Uh, these, you know, for example, you could have this be called, you know, a name or something like that, so you can, you know, modify that. Um, you know, let's say we want to collect that, want to require it. So, you know, you can change, you can change these as you see fit, or let, let's say you don't want to collect anything, you can go ahead. And, let's go ahead and delete these. You know, are you, uh, are you sure that? Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and remove those. Because uh, I decided let's not have these on the demo, and uh, you know if you want to add an additional one, you can do that too. It's the same thing as editing. And uh, so th these are uh, if you don't want to collect any di any additional information, uh, don't use these. This is just kind of like an added kind of a bonus uh, sort of deal for for this application. Um, and I, I believe that's pretty much it. If there are any questions, uh, go ahead and come to the site. I will have a, a contact form set up. Uh, you can contact me and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can uh, with any questions that you may have. Uh, thanks for watching.